Hi, this is Michelle. And Maggie. We're back with a grocery haul from Trader Joe's. Yes, so we love at Trader Joe's in this house, but we don't go too often because it's a little bit of a drive. So I always just stock up on some like quick and easy meals. Like we said before, we have a lot of adults in this house and we all have busy schedules. So it's always nice to just have some stuff in the freezer to fall back on. So we'll kind of just go through here. We've got some blueberry waffles. These are super easy in the morning. My daughter loves the blueberry ones. She will eat the regular ones for some reason. <laughs> um, and then I always pick up a thing of their carrot spirals or their zucchini spirals. Just if we make like a meal and the family's having noodles, I will typically opt to have a vegetable noodle instead because I'm not even a fan of noodles, so I'm not wasting my carbs on those. And um, I got two of these. Have you tried this before, Maggie? No, I haven't. I haven't either, so I don't know. But like I said, I was just trying to find stuff that would be easy. Mm, that looks so good. So I got two of those to try out. So I also always buy a thing Best of roasted corn. corn ever. This will change your life. It'll elevate any recipe that you have. So I think what we'll probably do with this one is I always grab some of these traditional carnita style meat too. You just heat it up and shred it. And it's really awesome to put over like cauliflower rice or jasmine rice, add some of this in, some other vegetables, some salsa, and you've got a really delicious quick dinner. Um, this is also another thing that I love. The mandarin orange chicken is so good. We have an air fryer, so we stick it in there and it gets nice and crispy. They usually serve it with their Japanese rice, but they were all out, so I grabbed the vegetable fried rice. And this is another thing to where I'll maybe save a few carbs and I'll do the cauliflower rice stir fry instead. Um, chopped spinach. I think we talked about this in our last video. I always love to have this on hand to add to smoothies or just any kind of breakfast things. Sometimes I even add it to pancakes. Um, broccoli, which we already broke into because we love broccoli in the air fryer. Green beans is another thing. Air fryer. We air fryer these guys, put some seasoning on them, and they're delicious. <laughs> Our dog is trying to get in the video, I think. <laughs> um, okay, so this is my daughter's favorite kind of chicken. She is super picky when it comes to protein. Um, and so when I find something she likes, I just stick with it and don't even try to change it. So what I actually did the other day for her because she was off at school was I heated up one of these reduced fat or reduced gilt mac and cheese and air fried some chicken and some broccoli and then chopped up the chicken and broccoli and mixed it in and my husband yeah. actually even loves this and he doesn't really like like frozen dinner things that you microwave and he loved that mac and cheese he said it was good. good this is a new buy i have never tried it i've tried their cauliflower gnocchi and i didn't super love it yeah i'm kind of scared but, i don't know if i, I want know to. i really wanted I just like to find things that, you know, that we can make lower carb, like the cauliflower rice or the zoodles. So I wanted to at least give this a try and see if I can swap it out on some of the Italian dishes that we make. And this, I haven't, did you try these last time, yeah, didn't you? Were they good? Mm -hmm. Again, just another quick thing for either somebody to take for lunch, or if you're home, you can heat it up in the air fryer. Just some peppers. We had a birthday party recently, so we had lots of fruit left over from that. And then I will do another haul of like regular produce and stuff, but I just saw those and picked them up real fast. This is more just like, like I said, to have stuff in the freezer. Frozen foods and yeah. snacks. Yeah, it's more what we get from Trader Joe's. Um, this, there needs to be smell-o-vision for this. <laughs> like, it's just, oh my goodness. Did you try it? Yes, I had a piece. Isn't it so good? Yeah, it is. And quick and easy. I didn't get this this time because we already had it, but it is so good with the Trader Joe's cocoa almond spread. Mm. Like my daughter, she says she can make breakfast, and when she does that, she puts this in the toaster, 
and put some of that on and, and like just like melts into the swirls oh my gosh oh my gosh it's so good <laughs> Um, these my husband really likes. He really likes okra, so just a, a little bit healthier alternative to having some chips. Now you pick <laughs> these these are a not healthy chips. <laughs> <laughs> Salt and vinegar, oh, they're good. And this is the best popcorn. Seriously, all the kids devour this popcorn when we get it. Sometimes I even sprinkle some nutritional yeast on this, and it kind of gives a little bit of a cheesy taste as well. These chips are so good. They are the ones that say seasoned with sea salt and lime. Oh, I love lime these, chips. These are so, so good. Then we have um, these. Another great snack. Maybe not super healthy, but delicious. They have the cinnamon on them already. This is just cute. So I thought I would get it. And, you know... We're biceps and brownies. We always gotta have the treats ready to go. <laughs> so I just thought this would be a good, if we're like, oh no, we don't have dessert after dinner. <laughs> we can Triple whip one of these chocolate. There's toffee, oh, cinnadoodle. Cinnadoodle. Which one are you most excited for? I don't know, I love, me I love some toffee. Yeah, I like toffee. And I actually, my favorite kind of cookie is with oatmeal, so. Does this have uh -huh. oats in it? It says toffee oats. Yeah. So. Hmm. We'll need to try that soon. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yum. Um, this is the salsa I got from Trader Joe's. Whenever I'm buying salsa or like marinara sauce, I always check and make sure that there's not sugar in the ingredients, okay? Because there doesn't need to have to be added sugar. There might be sugar up here, but that's going to be like from the tomatoes, like listed in the nutritional facts, but... We didn't have no it sugar. in the sugar in the ingredients, so that's why I landed on these. <laughs> oh my gosh, Maggie just tried these. How are they? They are so good. I can't believe it. They're just I... like, it's like, kind of, you know how like with potato chips, you can't just eat one? I feel like that's how these actual are. size. Not, once again, not healthy, but you gotta have a treat every now and then, right? And then lastly, I picked up these little guys. For Brady. Brady. Here, Brady, you want to try one? You want to try one? You stand up. Good boy. Good boy. You've been loud this whole video, Brady. You want it? Can you sit? Sit. Good boy. Aw, he's learning. I think they're Brady approved. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is our Trader Joe's haul. We'll probably have to go grocery shopping again just for our regular staples. But these are kind of staples from Trader Joe's that we love to get and just have on hand. And I was thinking, Maggie, have you heard of that new grocery store that opened in Tulsa? What? There's a new, it's called something. I can't remember the name of it. I don't know, it's new and it's in Tulsa and I think we should check it out and make a video. Yeah, let me know what the name of it is. People have been posting about it. So I'm like, we need to check it out. Let everybody know. Yeah. All right, comment down below your favorite Trader Joe's. You can't go wrong with anything there, really. Okay, well, we will talk to you guys later. Bye!